Hey there, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video we will unbox the Apple AirPods Pro and see what's new. So let's unbox and see what's inside. First we have the quick start guide, then we have the Apple AirPods Pro. So let's put those aside for a minute and right underneath we have a little compartment here which has the silicone ear tips in small and large sizes. Now the medium ear tips are already installed into the AirPods Pro. Using the right ear tip size for you, you are able to make sure you get a snug fit in your ear and we will look at that in a minute. Finally, we have a USB-C to lightning cable for charging your AirPods Pro by plugging it into the rear of the holding case into the lightning port. And of course, if you want, AirPods Pro case can also be charged wirelessly on a standard wireless Qi charger. So these are the AirPods Pro. These are now $250. And remember, the older first generation AirPods are still $159, while the second generation AirPods with the wireless charging case are $199. So the bottom of the box has a lightning port for charging, which is usual. And other than the fact that the box is slightly wider and shorter, it isn't too much different than the second generation AirPods, which we have right next to it. It's the same build and feel. Let's remove the AirPods from its casing and inspect what's going on here. The way the AirPods Pro case opens and the AirPods come out is the same as before. It's a very easy process. And of course, putting them right back into the case is also very easy. The box and the AirPods Pro feel solid and high quality. As you can see, the outside stem on these are shorter than the original almost by half an inch. So maybe it looks slightly better overall and less awkward when you wear them. You can let me know down below if you care about the stem length or not. Setting up the AirPods is super simple, just like the old ones. Bring it close to your Apple device, open up the case, follow basic instructions, and boom, you're connected. So just tap on that connect to iPhone button, and then what, what happens is you get a quick tutorial on how to use these new AirPods Pro. So you're going to get a quick tutorial on media controls and how to activate noise cancellation and the transparency mode. We are going to be talking about those in a second, so let's keep moving on. You have the option to activate Siri if you want by saying, hey Siri. Couple of other options. And finally, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a battery percentage meter. It's gonna tell you exactly what your battery level is right now. And then you click done and that's it. You're connected to your AirPods Pro. Now remember the total combined battery life for the case and AirPods is still 24 hours same as the previous generation. Now one cool feature is when you go into the Bluetooth settings for your AirPods, you get an option that says ear tips fit test. So place the AirPods in your ear, click that button, and then the AirPods will perform magic to detect whether or not you have a good fit or seal for perfect sound experience. If you don't get a good seal, change the ear tips. These ear tips change very easily. You simply pull one out and connect the other that snaps into place. You can also buy extra tips if you ever need them from Apple directly. Now, once you get a good seal, you will quickly find out that with that good seal, you get a pretty good active noise canceling, which is actually another highlight of these pods. They do successfully cancel the noise outside so it can be immersed in whatever you're listening to. Now that's nothing revolutionary even though it's done very well with these AirPods. But for me, what sets these apart is that Apple developed this venting system into these AirPods that kind of eliminates that tight pressurized in-ear feel that you get with traditional ear pods that plug tightly into your ears, trapping all the air pressure inside. That feeling makes me uncomfortable, but this venting system with the Apple makes things much more comfortable. The vents equalize the pressure inside and outside. What about the quality of the sound? Nothing major. I got amazing sound from the previous AirPods, except these have that active noise canceling so in a noisy environment, they keep you immersed into your music or whatever you're listening to. Now, sometimes noise cancellation can be annoying, especially if you want to be aware of what's going on outside around you. So with the AirPods, you also get access to a transparency mode that you can enable which allows you to actually hear what's happening on the outside. You have that option. Sometimes we like to block out everything and sometimes we do want to stay aware of our surroundings. And of course, you can easily jump between active noise cancellation and the transparency mode 
using the control center on your iPhone or just go into the Bluetooth settings. But there's also another way. The stem of these AirPods has a force sensor that you can press lightly to control music and calls. For example, one quick squeeze to play or pause, twice to skip a track, or three times to go back. And if you press and hold the force sensor, it will jump between active noise cancellation and the transparency mode. The tap gestures from the old AirPods are gone. Now you have the squeeze gestures. You just have to uh, lightly press the stem of the actual AirPod. So that's basically all the new things, all that's new with these AirPods Pro. And look, these AirPods are definitely improved. They're expensive at $250, but the previous model isn't so cheap either at $200 with the wireless charging case. And these Pro AirPods do have new features that I think are worth the extra $50. However, I would still suggest that you try the new AirPods Pro and the older AirPods to see which one feels more comfortable in your ear because that's very important, especially if you are going to be wearing these for prolonged times. But beyond that, the AirPods Pro I think are worth the extra $50 because you're getting slightly better sound quality, active noise cancellation, and the transparency mode. All right, so if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.